Good morning, children. Hello, how are you, children? I hope you all are fine and safe. It's a pleasure speaking to you, children. Now, we have finished the first lesson of your fifth standard English textbook, isn't it? Today, I will explain for you a poem. The title of the poem is Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go. Children, the title is the name of a boy in the poem. The name has been repeated many times in the poem. There's something tricky with that name. Just try to find out by the time we finish the poem. Let's begin. Turn to page number 12. Today, I'm going to explain an interesting poem. It's all about a small boy like you. Children, sometimes your parents ask you to do something and you don't listen to them and you don't do it. Am I right? Children, just think of a time when you were asked by your parents to do something and you didn't do it. Yeah, this poem is all about that. Now, let's come to the poem. The title of the poem is Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go, Who Doesn't Shut the Door. It's written by William Wrighty Rance. William Wrighty Rance was a British writer. He was born in Chelsea, West London. He was the son of a small shopkeeper and did not have access to education. It was out of the habit of reading at second-hand bookstalls that he gained knowledge. He was renowned as a poet of nursery rhymes. Some of his Famous poems are Great, Wide, Beautiful, Wonderful World, Topsy-Turvy World and The Cat of Cats. Children, a door is very important for a house. It provides security for us. A door is necessary for our privacy. It keeps pests, rain, and cold out. When we come in and go out, we have to close the door. But the boy named Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go in this poem had a bad habit of not shutting the door. His parents would request, plead and order him to shut the door, but he would keep it open. So, one day, his parents decide to give him the punishment of sending him to Singapore. The boy gets scared and begs for mercy. He promises his parents that he will shut the door and never break his promise. This is all about the poem, children. Now, we shall start the poem. Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go. Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go, no doubt you have heard the name before, was a boy who never would shut a door. Children, I'll explain the meaning of these first three lines. There was a boy named Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go. He is known to everyone. But you know, he is known as a boy who would never shut a door. Okay, children? Will you repeat after me these first three lines? Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Go? No doubt you have heard the name before. Was a boy who never would shut a door. 
the wind might whistle, the wind might roar, and teeth be aching and throats be sore. But still, he never would shut the door. So here, the poet tells us that the wind roars and blows hard through the door, which causes them toothache and a sore throat. But still, the boy would never shut the door. Children, will you repeat after me? The wind might whistle, the wind might roar. And teeth be aching and throats be sore. But still, he never would shut the door. His father would beg, his mother implore. Godfrey Gordon Gustavus go. We really do wish you would shut the door. So here children, his parents, his father and mother would beg and request him to shut the door. And they wish he does so. But the boy never shuts the door. Children, the meaning of implore here is to beg earnestly. Now, will you repeat after me? His father would beg, his mother implore. Godfrey God and Gustavus go. We really do wish you would shut the door. Dear hands, they rung. Dear head, they tore. But Godfrey God and Gustavus go was deaf as the boy out at the no. Children, here the parents were getting very angry with the boy. But the boy remained the same. He was as deaf as the boy. Children, here the meaning of boy, B-U-O-Y, it means it is an object that flows on the sea to mark an area and it acts as a locator to show reefs or other hazards. Out of the no, children, no, it is a sandbank near Thames Estuary which is in England. So, the boy was as deaf as the boy. You understood children? Now, will you repeat after me? Their hands they wrung, their hair they tore. But Godfrey God and Gustavus go was deaf as the boy out at the no. Now children, you can better understand the meanings of the words Rung, boy, and no by having a quick look at these pictures. Rung, held tightly and twisted. No, a sandbank at the mouth of the Thames estuary, England. Boy, an object that flows on the sea to mark an area. Okay, children, shall we continue with the poem? When he walked forth, the folks would roar. Godfrey God and Gustavus go? Why don't you think to shut the door? Children, here, when the boy walks out, that means when the boy goes out, his friends and neighbors would always question him. Godfrey, why don't you shut the door? Children, here, the meaning of folks is people in general. Now, Will you repeat after me? When he walked forth, the folks would roar. Godfrey God and Gustavus go. Why don't you think to shut the door? Children, in this part of the poem, you have understood that the boy had a bad habit of not shutting the door and was not listening to his parents. So, in the next part of the poem, we shall see whether the boy has changed his bad habit of not shutting the door. Okay children. Now, take out your English class work. Write down the date and the title of the poem. Children, quickly write down the words with the meanings that you have learned today. 
along with the worksheet that is given. Okay, children? We shall continue our English class in the next session. Thank you.